proceed as initially scheduled despite a weak teachers strike. Now the government asserts that educators will make up for lost time and adequately prepare students for the exams. Simultaneously, officials announced ongoing discussions to consolidate funds for direct allocation to educational institutions and the Kenya Institute of Special Education, streamlining resource distribution in the education sector. The Kenyan Certificate of Secondary Education exam dates will remain unchanged despite a week long of teachers' strike that disrupted third term of the academic year. The teachers must cover the time lost in the remaining seven weeks from the initial nine weeks it was supposed to run following the industrial action by secondary school teachers that lasted a week. We want to thank our teachers who are already preparing these kids. We know that uh, we had some little challenges. We were opening schools, but again, we have agreed with our teachers that we shall try as much as possible to recover the week that we lost last week and ensure that our children are adequately prepared for the examination. Speaking at the Kenya Institute of Special Education first exhibition of assistive devices for people with disability, the principal secretary announced that discussions to merge funds for direct allocation to KISI are underway. The event showcased tools designed to support individuals living with various disabilities. We've decided that to consolidate and to be able to benefit from economies of scale, that instead of uh, sending certain am small amounts of monies to every other school, is that we shall send a certain component of that resource to the school, and we shall send a certain component of that resource to KISA, so that they consolidate and be able to acquire the devices in large numbers. And that way we shall benefit from our economies. Meanwhile, there are also plans to decentralize KISE by establishing 10 regional centers across the country, aiming to improve early identification and evaluation of individuals with disability, making these crucial services more accessible throughout the country. And Musungu KT News, Nairobi. The African Population and Health Research 